The Los Angeles Angels just had the craziest five weeks a franchise has ever had and each week got worse than the last. Shohei now looks like this. Anthony Rendon refuses to speak to the media, even going as far as saying he does not speak English. Players that they just trade a top 100 prospect for are already on another team, and their farm system could have been one of the best, but instead, it looks like this. The 2023 Los Angeles Angels have become a bigger joke than the team tanking as clearly as possible so that they can move cities. The Angels have a player coming off back-to-back -back MVP caliber seasons, arguably the greatest of all time, which implies to both of these players, but according to the top guys in Anaheim, it's all a part of the plan. The value of the team is up, Angel fans across the globe have gone up, and they're going to be losing Shohei Otani. Wait, what? Heading into the season, the Angels knew they had one more chance with Otani to go for it. Meaning if they found themselves in the hunt, they'd be buying at the deadline. And no matter how many times they said it, no one in the media seemed to listen. All we're talking about is if Shohei Otani is going to get traded. All 30 teams would want Shohei Otani. Might be time to go the route of trading a player so you can get something in return. Which made a trade with the White Sox to receive Lucas Giolito and Reynaldo Lopez shock everyone. Except Artie Moreno who last August announced he had intention to sell the Angels, realizing it was time after the Angels had their longest losing stretch in more than 40 years. The franchise now worth $2.5 billion more than when bought in 2003. Moreno spent too much but at the same time didn't spend enough. Being able to only field a team of two consistent bats and only one starting pitcher who was also one of their only two hitters, and when he did spin on other players, they usually didn't turn out great. Like Elbert Pujols, who was coming off as one of the most dangerous hitters in St. Louis and a surefire Hall of Famer even if he retired after that season. But no worries, because just two years later, he signed another former MVP, Josh Hamilton, to a five-year contract, giving the Angels the best big three in baseball, or at least at the time. First one to Hamilton. Drift out to straightaway right center field. Walk off big fly for Josh Hamilton. Here's the 2 2. Albert drives one out toward left field. Hit well. Big fly for Albert Pujols. Drifting out toward right center. Trout at the wall. Leaps up and he makes the catch. Mike Trout with another spectacular grab. Hamilton played just one and a half seasons before getting traded back to Texas for only cash and turns out signing a player to a 10 year contract at age 32 goes as advertised. Sometimes you can say a lesson learned. Other times, if you get a chance to sign a 29 year old coming off a third place MVP finish, you have to do it. Trout and Otani can only do so much as we've seen, but now that player is doing everything in his power to avoid speaking to the media, even claiming he does not speak English to avoid answering questions. Anthony Rendon has played just 200 games in four seasons with the Angels and is currently heading down the same path as David Wright and possibly his teammate Steven Strasburg. Another $245 million down the drain. Another part of the game, the starting rotation has tried to get by by finding diamonds in the rough or young players. Only problem is they couldn't draft arms and when you didn't have the scouts to find draft picks, it's hard to find players that no one else wanted who were still solid like other teams have perfected. Even when they did go out and sign a big free agent pitcher, it still didn't go right. Tyler Anderson this season has an ERA above 5, a whip above 1.5, and has a career worse ERA plus in qualified seasons. And with this many failed players, it makes you wonder if this is just extremely bad luck or is the franchise just bad with their players. Ironically enough, another big free agent signing that didn't live up to his contract exposed the Angels for being out of touch with the game. As if the news of Mike Trout going back in the IL after just one game and Shohei Otani tearing his UCL, ending his Angels pitching career wasn't bad enough, Angel fans may have found out why their stars keep getting injured. Former starter CJ Wilson revealed that the team refused to buy Pujols a special treadmill that cost 70000 pennies compared to his $240 million contract telling players to just run hard at first base to get in shape and to eat Chick-fil-A for breakfast because breakfast wasn't served at spring training initially and not even provided a weight room. The team was understaffed on the medical side and even firing doctors for being too good at their jobs, then trying to fix players with ice. Sounds like a school nurse. Minor leaguers are treated better. 
except in the Angels organization because up until just last year, the Angels were at the bottom of how they treated their minor leaguers. One player said he had to live with six other teammates in a three bedroom apartment, sleeping on a twin mattress, with one person sleeping in the kitchen and two others in the living room. A 2019 draft pick retired just two years into his pro ball career, specifically because of living conditions, where he was losing $1,000 a month, while others lived in a camper or out of their cars. Another one who called it quits due to how he was treated said the team provided him an average of 1,000 calories a day while expecting him to eat over 4,000. And when players don't have money and need food, they resort to places like Taco Bell. Clayman Moreno, quote, really doesn't give a shit about the one inside. That probably explains this on the minor league side. Moreno's cheapness isn't just on the field. He's reportedly become so cheap that one source said Mike Trout had to pay for new TVs and other items in the Angels clubhouse that the players wanted because the owner refused. The Angels radio broadcasters have not traveled with the team this season and have called games from Angels Stadium to save under 200000 a year, stating we just found that the economics is not going to change that experience. Just a month after the trade deadline, the Angels decided to put six players on waivers, five of whom they acquired at that deadline. And with the waiver deadline no longer existent, any of these players could be claimed for free. The reason why? To simply get under the tax to get a second round draft pick for losing Otani and free agency instead of a fourth. Even after five of their players got claimed, they still did not get under that tax, almost admitting they know they will lose Otani this winter. Was losing Shohei Otani part of his entire plan? The Angels had already paid Trout more than $400 million, but has had trouble staying healthy since. With Otani expected to make more than $500 million this offseason, the Angels would have nearly a $1 billion locked up to just two players and still no pitchers. Fans and players have questioned if Moreno and the Angels have ever had a plan other than Trout and Otani are good enough. And after letting two players go free a month after training a top 100 prospect for them, it's clear they never had a plan. Even if fans gave him all the excuses, Anthony Rendon playing like he was with the Nationals. Trout plays a full season. The Angels offense would be better, but still what the Angels have been known for since Moreno bought the team was no pitching. In 2023, the team has a 4.71 ERA, 4.55 FIP, and a 9.4 F war. Shohei alone has more than a quarter of that. Tonight for Otani. Most would believe after all this, the fans would stop showing up, but the amount of fans has only gone up in the last five years. And not just Angel fans, everyone wants to watch this team play, despite the record. Trout and Otani have become must-watch TV over the years. Opposing fans will come out to see the Angels when they're on the road, and one set of fans from Tokyo even celebrated their honeymoon in Anaheim just to watch Shohei Otani play in person. The money has never been the problem. Playing in a top two sports market, fans will come to the games no matter what, and star free agents usually don't deny playing there. So what's the problem? The man who was on the verge of selling the team, Artie Moreno, has ruined prospects, players' health, and the biggest of all, ruined Mike Trout and Shohei Otani's careers, at least so far. But some might wonder that if he followed through and selling the team a year ago, would the Angels be in a different position now? The only answer we know for certain is the Angels have become the biggest joke in baseball.